il gruppo dell'Alde che si è attivato per la seconda volta a riproporre questo tema. Eh, purtroppo non abbiamo avuto uguali chiarimenti da parte delle autorità italiane, nel senso che l'indagine giudiziaria in questo momento eh, a distanza di sette mesi non ha portato ancora alcun elemento pubblico. We believe that uh, the improvement of safety uh, depends on the full and timely implementation of the uh, railway uh, safety directive. Uh, we need to be sure that every actor uh, knows its role and its responsibilities. We need robust and transparent safety management systems. We have a safety directive and, and there are a lot of positive points with the experience that we have now with this directive. First of all, there are no independent investigation bodies in the different member states. That means that uh, the transparency and the availability of data is guaranteed. On the other hand, the operators have now to implement a very detailed safety management system. The deregulation process uh, from 2007 today in uh, the maintenance section alone has resulted in 19 dead and 20 wounded workers. After the 29th of June, um, we've seen an ongoing succession of derailments, fires and accidents just avoided. Everyone has to do their own bit here to ensure that the privatisation and deregulation process underway now, another disaster would be too much, uh, whether in Italy or Europe. What we have to do is the utmost to assure that this leak is minimised. Okay. And, and I think the more European we become, the more we learn that safety is not different from Italy to Germany to Norway, the more it's easier in the system to understand that these unified rules are good for everyone. The organizational and legal reforms of the railway system uh, um, are, are not sufficient, I think, to provide for quality service. Experience since the adoption of the EU White Paper 2001 shows organizational reforms, market opening, adequate financing and fair pricing for infrastructure use between all modes must all go together. We can't have one very safe and one not safe railway undertaker because your railway infrastructure and your railway system is only as reliable as the weakest link. So everybody has to attain the same high standards of safety. After liberalisation, there's obligation under EU law for all actors to fulfil their responsibilities. They have to maintain the rules to follow safety with minimum standards that are still the same. We do improve. We do, we do take preventive measures. We are predicting how uh, the, 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 uh, the issues that can improve rail safety, that can improve rail efficiency, that also improve rail environment friendliness. In the first place, I was very touched by the testimony of the, of the victims and the, the, the family, members of the families of the victims. We have the rules in place. We have made the, the, the directive on railway safety a few years ago, but it is clear that the control on, 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 on safety and on the quality uh, from time to time is not, as, is not good enough. This disaster proves that.